finally we have Amsterdam in just a UK it's you can see it's so beautiful the windmills the bike and everything it's, Amsterdam looks beautiful from the plane and this week I'll be in Delft at my friend's place and we'll go for a festival Bollywood festival of food and uh, enjoy some stuff and also we are going to see some tips for shell attack As it was a day for visiting the museum in Netherlands, uh, so we visited Prinsenhof Museum in Tuu Delft and took some pictures. Some good pictures are attached here. Uh, generally, visiting a museum in Netherlands is very expensive. And then we went for the Bollywood festival where we enjoyed different kinds of South Indian tandoori and some Bengali dishes like mutton curry, goat meat curry, and uh, nice combination of different cuisines it was really a nice experience with all the friends and Dutch people out there and finally I made my way to uh, come back from Delft to Hillen and then to my home so this week was mostly I did not do much regarding my PhD but uh, I mostly used this time to relax and to do all the stuff which happens after a conference like putting all everything on this social media and slide share so that people can know about it and we can uh, meet each other and contact each other regarding any questions or any suggestions and the thing was that I wanted to tell you some tips regarding using shell latex I always use you can use any form of latex latex can be found in uh, in an offline version which most people use for writing your thesis or maybe some conference papers so what I would suggest is what I prefer nowadays shell latex has stopped and overleaf has taken over it so you can use something like overleaf where you have an online version of everything, every document you write regarding your research and conference. And that's much easier for uh, you to keep track of what you are doing once you know the format. The advantage of using shell attic over Word is that you don't need to pre-format your page number, space, index, everything before you finish your uh, presentation so you can uh, do all these things by giving certain commands you don't need to have a programming strength to start using shell latex once you use you will know what's the advantage that you don't need to spend unnecessary time in formatting and giving page numbers instead you focus on writing and writing alone so writing will be the only focus and you won't be diverted by certain mundane random things so I would say you should start using shell LaTeX or Overleaf or any LaTeX offline version from today.